scooping up some of the cheaper tech products at the drugstore once again. I couldn't resist. I What'd couldn't you get? resist. Well, it, it, not just Walgreens. I was also in. I was in Lowe's trying to find plastic storage buckets, mm -hmm. and I found more useful stuff instead. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen this, the Jupiter Jack. A couple of people have actually emailed me about this. As seen on TV, you can see the little logo on there somewhere. You know, a quality I, product. There's, there's stores that just sell that stuff. They're, I went to a store in Monterey one time, and all they sell is stuff as seen on TV. Do they have Snuggies? Yeah, oh yeah, they had everything. They had the magic bullet <gasps> that you can make like the, the drinks and the. What's the magic bullet? It's a, basically a mini blender, but it's awesome. Well, okay. I don't know if this one's awesome. Um, for the money, Blue Ant Super 23, the best hands free speakerphone I've ever tested. Decent audio, decent volume. Basically, it deals with the incredible noise both inside of my truck and the Subaru. Uh, even my mom likes the way it sounds when I call, and she doesn't really like me using the cell phone at yeah. all. She really wants me to have a landline in the truck. Uh, unfortunately, I keep leaving it in the wrong car and then it goes to play dates with my son and then if I'm really lucky it actually stays hooked up to the visor doesn't end up shoved underneath the uh, back seat or under the dog or in the dog's mm, bowl mm -hmm. or my personal favorite so far actually he's been shoving penny, pennies into the CD player so I got to take the entire dash that's not good do that. so enter the Jupiter Jack on sale nine dollars and ninety nine cents worth of hands-free calling wonder this yeah. is the actual Jupiter Jack. I bet that sounds wonderful. Oh, it sounds thin, reedy, and not even as good as a typical FM Where, transmitter Where's from my your sarc iPod. mark when I need it? Could you read that sarcasm <laughs> in there enough? There's a little sarcasm in there. The Shocking, mark. the mic actually sounds pretty good. It got the thumbs up, the not impressive thumbs up, but the thumbs up better than just using the microphone on the speakerphone in the car from Mr. Roger Chang, producer at large. Um, <laughs> so I actually decided to pick up a couple of them and stuff them into my truck as emergency devices. Oh, nice. Um, so in case you forget. Your, your blue ant? Well, yeah, which I have done repeatedly because it keeps going places I don't. Actually, they have a ton of adapter for different phones you can plug in there. It is not the most elegant device. You also may notice that I've managed to crack the screen of my iPhone again. Wait. Again, second Wait. time in two months. Wait, again? Again. Again? Look. You did that? How? It's worse yes. than last time. Yes, it is. It what is. did you do? Apparently, I needed an excuse to do a roundup of, of iPod cases. That was the other oh thing God. we were talking about on Twitter this weekend. So I can't believe you did that again. I've got Magpul's iPhone case. I'm taking things away from you. No, you're not taking this I'm away taking from me. I'm taking it away from you. Oakley has one. Of course, I'm going to get the, the Defender from Otterbox, and we're going to see if we can get that crazy nanomolecular technology one in from Britain. See, the rest of your phone that was fine, and it's lovely gadget phone case. Well, the gadget phone case is cracked <laughs> in a, at least one place. But yes, the back of the phone is okay, it but I need, to, I need to protect the screen, obviously. Yeah. And uh, the dog was not involved. I don't know how I dropped it. And yes, I probably should have my tech taken away. All right, well, back to... <laughs> but it, it works. It actually doesn't... It, it doesn't sound great. It sounds like a bad FM transmitter, but it's also a really tough uh, FM radio environment in my Subaru. On the more fabulous side of things, 360 Electrical, they came out with basically jack replacement covers last year and they offer up rotating outlets so this time they actually have their rotating outlet so you can hear it there right yeah the, the crotch tea. yeah it rotates like crack. 360 degrees and they actually have a surge protector built in and a ground detector so you remove your cover plate off of your outlet you screw this in place you have four outlets basically up to 15 amps of power handling and you can basically scooch everything around that until it is all fits awesome because i hate when you have power strips and you've got these adapters that are just like you know they cover like three different power plugs yeah. you can't get everything in there but this is perfect because you can tilt it to the right direction and it's it's a good fit under a desk we both live in san francisco where they put like one outlet in every room so you have a lot of places where you walk into somebody's house and see like the 15 foot extension cord going around to that pile of equipment mm -hmm. and the other 15 foot extension cord going around to that pile of equipment and the other 15 foot <laughs> extension cord like running to something on the ceiling i have seen somebody stapling an extension cord to the ceiling i left the house before it burned to the ground but it's it's actually it's not bad it's 15 bucks and i like the fact that it's an easy way to put a surge protector on everything so if it fits in our weird little outlets in my cubicle this is going into my cubicle now Ooh, nice. don't tell our cto and while lowe's was out of stock in the stackable buckets i wanted they did have the usual stack of Velcro products, including. Oh, I lost mine. Yes, well, somebody stole mine. Here, you take Can the I gray. Have one? All right, I'll take the. See, this is what happens. This. I get 50 of these for like six bucks. 
because I got to redo the toddler proofing on the wiring for the home theater system, and every time I bring a bindle of them to work, they disappear just like that. At least I know where they went this time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I you gave me ones last time we talked about them, and Is that I brought them going? home. Are they all in your house? No, you just gave me one roll. They're and I all in them Ryan's home. desk, aren't they? No. And when I went to go, <laughs> when I when I put together my new desk like a couple months ago, I was like, oh, I'll just use the Velcro um, thing so I can tie all my cables together, and I couldn't find them anywhere, and I was flipping. I tore the house apart Check looking Ryan's for them. Desk. Know, it's totally in Ryan's desk. Unless they have, they migrate around the house. Mm -hmm. By the way, I don't know how it is by you, but our local Lowe's has some really nice cabling gear in stock. Ratchet crimpers, coax strippers, a pretty good range of ideal equipment uh, if you need to relocate your cable modem, which I did after replacing my like six year old Linksys cable modem that has been quietly wincing in the corner of my house. Oh, yeah. Did your internet get any faster? I haven't decided yet. It didn't get worse, which is a big plus, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting to. To, I need to call up uh, uh, the, the well, the, I guess there's still Comcast for me. They may be Xfinity in the future, but I'm not sure uh. if it's Xfinity. Yeah, that's a tell you, everybody loves it. Can we just talk them. about how stupid that is? It is so stupid. It's not stupid, it's rebranding. Okay, well, there's, wait, wait, there's wait, wait, no wait, wait, hope wait, wait, in rebranding Comcast. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Facial expression reaction. We got Get the camera on Veronica. Get the camera on Veronica. Let me say two words to you. Now, pretend you've never heard this word before in your life. Okay. Xfinity. That's so lame. Okay. Comcast. I can't see I think it's not gonna work. Because Comcast. You love Comcast. I hate Comcast. Have a, the Comcast, you have a great customer service relation with Comcast. I have all right, fine. So I don't hate Comcast. They've done some annoying stuff in the past. You know, the, the service has been iffy from time to time. They do a great job of customer service on Twitter, okay. but it's not the kind of customer service that's like, going what, throughout the rest of the four company. Million followers on Twitter? But no, the Comcast cares, talks to everyone. Okay. They help everyone out. It's not just because I have a big Twitter following. That's cool. Like they actually legitimately like try to talk to everyone that has a problem. I am standing They're a down, task force. I am happy for them. I mean, they've been to Go every Comcast major cares. social media event talking about like the, the effort they've been making in the social media space to try to help customers. And that's great. But I don't think it's the mindset that's trickling up into the larger organization. And so that's the problem. They're I understand the whole rebranding kind of thing. They're starting the whole Xfinity thing. I wonder if NBC Universal is going to become like Xfinity. It's just a joke. It's like <laughs> Xfinity. That's like the stupidest <laughs> name. I've, it's so like Xfinity. You know, what it, you know what it means is there are even fewer names than on the internet than there were in like 2000 when stuff yeah. like Snapfish and Rocket Weasel and. Anyway, that's how I feel about that. If you'd like to hear more opinion, you can listen to the Buzz Out Loud episode I was on last week when we talked about it. 